Hello everyone, today we will discuss about gate examinations, graduate aptitude test in engineering. So this video, this session will help to students, those are preparing for the gate examinations, those have appeared for the gate examinations and qualified, those have appeared for the gate examinations and not qualified and those students who are interested in doing their masters in Indian universities as well as in foreign universities and those students who prepares jobs doing jobs in PSUs or in some government organizations so I hope you will like this video so let's start like the video subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for latest video update so friends as we all know that the gate exam is conducted by IITs for around 24 papers so you should be very careful while selecting the paper code for example if your specialization is in mechanical engineering you can apply for gate exam through different paper codes first is mechanical engineering ME second production in industrial engineering PI third metallurgy MT so if you look at the statistics then you will come to know that last year around 2.5 lakh students appeared for the gate examinations for mechanical engineering ME but this count is only 4 to 5 thousand for production in industrial engineering so if I wanted to pursue my masters in production related areas then definitely I will prefer to apply for gate examination through production in industrial engineering so this is because there is very high possibility of getting qualified into get examination and the cutoff mark is also less as compared to mechanical engineering but if my aim is to go into PSU's public sector units then definitely I will prefer to apply for get examination through ME mechanical engineering because almost all the uh, PSU's considers only mechanical engineering gate score so according to your requirement you need to decide that through which paper code you should apply for the gate examination so the next part is previous years analysis uh, this shows the last three years cut off marks and this is also very important again very important if you look at this statistics you will come to know that for mechanical engineering and for chemical engineering the cutoff marks is little bit more as compared to other branches so for all other branches basically cutoff marks varies in between 25 to 35 so accordingly you should plan your studies we are all familiar with the gate basic structure 65 questions 100 marks total three section first is general aptitude second engineering mathematics and third is technical aptitude for general aptitude basically 15 marks and 10 questions may be one mark five questions and two marks uh, five questions similarly for engineering mathematics 15 marks and 10 questions and for technical aptitude 45 questions and total 70 marks so you can easily get the marks from general aptitude and engineering mathematics as compared to technical parts so you should emphasize on these two parts and definitely on technical part also if you wanted to score very high you wanted to get a very good rank then definitely you should emphasize on all three sections now we will see the opportunities in front of qualified students and opportunities in front of the students those are not qualified into get examinations so if you have qualified into get examinations you will be having two choices you can prefer higher studies or you can prefer jobs so if the students who are preparing the higher studies those again will be having three choices they can opt to study in India they can opt to study in uh, foreign universities or they can uh, try for some fellowships and those students who are interested in jobs they can try into public sector units or in some government organizations so we'll start from higher studies if you have decided to go for higher studies then first choice you will be having is to study in Indian universities so you will be having this three choices you can go for mtech you can go for ms you can go for phd the first degree is mtech so if you have very good rank or very good gate score then you can apply in few iits for mtech the course is for the duration of course is two years and you will be paid 12400 as a stipend and for that you need to work there as a teaching assistant or research assistant so they will provide uh, they will give you a load of eight hours a week you may need to conduct the practicals of graduate students you may need to work on the funded projects there so that you will be get paid 12400 as a stipend the second choice you will be having is doing your ms we might have heard that the ms degree is provided 
by the foreign universities only but that is not the thing isc bangalore is the best institute which gives the ms degree which is master of science so there is a little bit difference between ms and mtech degree in mtech basically you need to appear for the course course work for first two to three semesters and one semester you need to carry out your research however in ms basically for first semester only you need to appear for few courses and from second semester onwards you need to carry out your research so ms is research based degree the duration minimum duration is same it is of 2 years and you will be paid 12400 as a stipend but this minimum duration may extend to 3 years to 4 years depending on the completion of your works and the third option is you can go for dual degree which is mtech plus phd so at the starting you will be admitted to the mtech course for first two, first one year and you need to complete the course requirement of mtech then you will be directed for the phd's so for first year you will get 12400 as a stipend and from second year onwards you will get 25000 as a stipend and the minimum duration of this degree is 5 years this may extend to 6 to 7 years this is a minimum duration so at the complete after completion of uh, this you will get both the degrees mtech as well as phd degree so the next is if you have already done your mtech and if you are qualified to get examination then you can apply for the phd where the minimum duration is 3 years and for first 2 years you will get on a 25000 stipend and remaining 2 to 3 years you will get 28000 as a stipend and importantly the last option which is direct phd if you are very good at your curriculum your grades are excellent then definitely you can rather than applying for the mtech you can directly apply for the phd and here you will be considered treated as a phd student so you will get 25000 as a stipend for first two year rather than getting 12400 and after two years you will get 28000 as a stipend so uh, the duration minimum duration is 4 years so definitely to get stipend the condition is same you need to work as a teaching assistant or research assistant the next choice is mba after qualifying gate examination you can go for mba also you might have heard the name of this institute niti national institute of industry engineering this is the best institute where if you have got the gate rank below 700 to 800 that means you should have very good gate rank and high gate score then only you will get admission in this institute so this is uh, where you can do your post graduate diploma in project management industrial engineering and manufacturing program there after completing this diploma the duration is 2 years so you will get the minimum package of around 18 lakh per annum so you can think of the level of education that this institute will offer you can also prefer doing your ms and phd from foreign universities the only criteria is you should get 90 percentile that means you should get 2 to 3 marks more than the cut off marks then your percentile will be around 90 so if you are fulfilling this criteria then you will be exempted from gre you need not to go for the gre exam you can directly apply to this university basically these four universities considers the gate scores so you can think uh, the world rankings because first university which is from singapore national university of singapore which ranks 12th in the world and you will get surprised that no iits from india comes under falls under 150 top universities so iit delhi ranks around 172 according to recent qs rankings and iit bombay ranks around 179 so national university of singapore ranks 12 so you can think of the educations you will get in those universities and remaining universities also ranks very well so first two universities are from singapore and next two universities are from germany so uh, on this section preferably i am going to prepare my next video which will uh, include the detail about the admissions into foreign university which may consider the tuition fees other expenditure and few scholarship options you will be having in front of you so main time you can just subscribe this channel and click on the bell notification so that you will get notified when i will add the video the next is fellowship the most importantly csir the council of scientific and industrial research so once you qualified into get examination you need to apply for csir grf that is junior research fellowship 
so you need to appear for the interview at csir laboratories and if you got selected then the csir will offer you jra position that is junior research fellowship where the csir will give you 25000 stipend once selected and the csir will give you one year to take phd admissions preferably from iits then uh, after getting admissions into iits you need to work on the projects offered by csir at csir laboratories where csir will pay you for around 5 years of duration for first 2 years csir will csir will pay you uh, around 25000 uh, and the position they will give you is grf junior research fellowship then you will be prompted to srf senior research fellowship and uh, your stipend will be increased from 25 to 28000 the next is IIM Indian Institute of Management. These are the best institute in management studies. Uh, we know that different IIMs are there. I am Kolkata, I am Bangalore, I am Ahmedabad and 15 plus IIMs are there in India. So here we after qualifying into gate examination, you cannot apply for postgraduate diplomas. For that you need to, you need to have CAT or GMAT score but you can apply for FPM program, fellow program in management. This program is equivalent to the PhD. The duration of this program is four to five years and you will be paid around 30 to 35,000 as a stipend. But after passing out or after doing this, after completion of this FPM, you will get around 15 to 30 lakh package. If you are opting uh, teaching profession, then you will get 15 to 20 lakh package per annum. And if you are going in the industries, then you may get 25 to 30 lakh package. So this was the part of higher study. Now, if you secured your rank or your rank is below 500 to 600, then you can think applying into the public sector units, PSUs. So these are the companies where more than 50% shares have been kept with the government and remaining with the private few private organizations. If you selected in any of the PSUs, then you will get the salary perks and other benefits at par with the government employees and even more than that. So I have compared here few of the uh, few of the topmost PSUs like uh, IOCL, BPCL, ONGC, uh, Bell. you can see the salary purse. So you will get a minimum package around 15 to 20 lakh and along with you will get uh, other extra benefits like you will get 15,000 for mobile tablets per two years, 55,000 for laptop PCs per three years and 1,50,000 for household furniture every six years. 8000 for goggles every year and much more so you will not get these facilities in even uh, government organizations also the next part is government jobs the many students are interested in getting government jobs so after qualifying into get examinations also you can go into uh, the government organizations but for that you should have you should secure a very good rank and high get score then only you can apply to this institute so the first option is drdo defense research and development organizations the second is bark baba atomic research center and the third is isro uh, indian space research center so once you have got very good rank and high get score then you need to apply to this institute these organizations uh, then on the basis of gate score they shortlist few applicants and they call for their selection process so you need to again appear for the extensive selection process like written test the stages of interviews group discussion etc once you selected in these organizations you will be treated you will be considered at par with the class one officers of government like uh, ias ips officers and you will get the facilities at par with uh, these class one officers and the last and most important part is if you studied very hard you appeared for the gate examination and if you could not qualify the gate exam then also you need not to worry you will be having ample up opportunities in front of you the first is even though you have not qualified into gate examination you can apply for mtech and me based on your gate marks whatever gate marks you have got so the only thing is you will not get stipend that the qualified student will get that is the only condition but the colleges the institute universities are having their 
own funds like TechCube, Technical Education Quality Improvement Program. So they are also under that you can try to get the stipend of around 12,400. So it depends on the vacancies available with the particular institute. The second choice is placements. So you have studied hard, you have appeared for the GATE examination but could not qualify the GATE exam but you become technically strong so that you can clear technical aptitudes, technical interviews of any company so that you will get placed in those companies and next is you will be having next choice which is appearing for the MPSC and UPSC exams. See MPSC and UPSC exams are having their syllabus almost similar to the GATE exam. So even though you could not qualify GATE exam you can clear this exam. And the last option is PSUs public sector unit option is still open for you. Many PSUs recruit the candidates through their own exams and their syllabus is almost relevant to the GATE examinations. So you can apply to those PSUs and you can clear the exams of those PSUs. So this is what I wanted to discuss with you. If you are having any questions related to GATE exam, so you please write me in comments. I would like to answer this question. Thank you very much for watching this video. Like the video, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for latest video update.